I'm Yolanda Padilla, and I am the Clara Pope Willoughby Centennial Professor in Child Welfare. I feel I was a quintessential American dream. I personified that. My father was an undocumented immigrant from Mexico in the 40s. He worked in the assembly lines, and that was the golden age of the Detroit area. They lived there for a couple of years and then moved back to the border. Growing up on the border literally blocks away from the international bridge between Brownsville and Matamoros was in some ways a unique experience. It's an estuary, a cultural estuary. So there's two languages and two worldviews and two types of music. The idea of being right on a margin, it was the perfect place to where a sociologist is created. I became hyper aware of context. My field of research is poverty, more broadly social inequality. The particular populations that I study the most are immigrants, often Latinos. Poverty, I mean, how do you know how you become interested in something? But I think my background and the things that I saw, I became very interested in the causes and consequences of poverty. Because I'm interested in the solutions to poverty, I am very interested in social work, things like social mobility. And I was particularly interested in what is called the epidemiological paradox, which is that immigrant mothers have birth outcomes that are almost equal to that of the white population. Immigrants are a select population, in, in particular in terms of health. They have better health than people who stay behind. This phenomenon is particularly evident in among uh, Latinos and Mexican Americans. The birth outcomes are the same as that of whites, which is a paradox because the socioeconomic differential is so high and because the use of prenatal care is low. Brian Stevenson, who is a public interest lawyer and an activist, says that the opposite of poverty is not wealth, that the opposite of poverty is social justice. The way that I communicate this to my students is by presenting them with stories of people through books. Background has everything to do with where you end up. There is the syllabus here and instructions for selecting your books. So please take one of each of those. I find teaching extremely inspiring. I don't feel like I've worked a day in my life. What I am trying to do in my teaching is help cultivate empathy. I like seeing students going through this process of the learning and the discovering. I teach a signature course that I developed called How to Change the World. I have 300 books in my collection from which students pick. They read memoirs, they read ethnographies, they read fiction, and then finally social action books. The power of reading a memoir of an incarcerated person or an immigrant or a refugee. Students find connections with people and things that has never been a part of their lives. It's just eye-opening. But the reason it is eye-opening is because they get to choose their books. In social work, we teach a lot of social problems. And we teach a lot of things that are very difficult. Ultimately, what I want is for them to see it as something that they can have agency in changing and making a difference. It's a sense of hope for the world.